Hello and welcome everyone back to the Powder Toy. Last time we built a lithium reactor and if you want to see that you should go check it out. But this time we're going to be doing something a little different. Today we are going to be building a neutron beam because I know you all love neutrons. Alright, so in, in the Powder Toy there's a few different ways to multiply neutrons, right? The first way is with plutonium. You see, plutonium, when you expose it to high pressure, will create neutrons. And also, when those neutrons contact more plutonium, it will break apart and create more neutrons and a ton of energy causing a nuclear explosion, which the issue is that's very hard to contain because it's a nuclear explosion. The second way we can make neutrons, which isn't cheating, I mean technically we could just use clone, but that, that's, that's cheating, is with deuterium. Deuterium, similarly, will react with a neutron to create more neutrons. However, depending on the concentration of deuterium and control of the pressure, you can actually get it to do so without exploding. I know it did explode there, but trust me when I say you can you can balance it out. Now we did actually balance out a system for this before when we created a, let me see if I can find it. I don't know if it was on here or on my other installation. I think it was on my other installation. All right, then we will do something slightly different. Uh, we are going to go ahead and rebuild it. So basically, for this to work, the neutrons have to, A, have a beam come out of the side, right? That's, that's pretty obvious. If we want a neutron beam, it's got to actually have a beam. It is, it doesn't technically have to come out of the side, but who cares? And then it needs to create neutrons inside of a chamber without melting down. And enough of those neutrons need to escape that it does not go critical. This is a balancing game. 100% it's all about balance. Because should we have too many neutrons, it'll melt down. Should we have too few, the entire reaction will just stop which kind of ruins the point. So as you can see, if I throw a few neutrons in, we do get some activity, we do get some duplication, but it's not enough to actually make a real difference. Oh, there we go, there we go. Okay, so here we have some duplication going on and it just stopped. Oh, wait, it's going again. It's going again and then it stopped. And part of the issue is that the deuterium is leaking out. What we can do is we can get a material that deuterium can pass through, uh, not deuterium, that neutrons can pass through, and then we can try again. The deuterium won't escape, but the neutrons will escape, but glass isn't very strong, so it just broke. Uh, I don't know, I don't think it'll pass through ceramic, but let me check. I think it might. Yes! Okay, so we'll use ceramic then. So as you can see, the ceramic did not break from the pressure, and that's good. But the neutrons did not stay happily enough, and they did actually stop replicating. And that's the problem that can also occur. You see, at some point, you do reach a problem where it will just multiply to a ridiculous degree. Uh, and cause the entire thing to explode. We can try to stop this from happening by creating a way for the neutrons to escape in the case of an overflow so that they just leave instead of bouncing back. Oh, I like this idea. So the chances of a neutron being in a specific spot are actually rather small unless there's like a ton of reaction happening. So what we can do is we can make it so that when a... Oh, I really like this idea. When particles hit here, it'll open it up. So in the case when the particles, when there's a ton of particles, it'll be open more often. Ooh. Ooh, this is a good one. I, I, like, I like this plan. 
if we can find a way to power this stasis wall, which we're going to go ahead and do the smartest thing we can do, which is grab the powder toy wiki. How to use stasis wall, power it with another wall. I wanted to ensure spark could still be put in stasis. That's what I thought. Okay, let's see. Where is a conductive wall? Conductor. Very cool. Very interesting. I don't I don't think it actually mattered. The issue is though it only let out like a single neutron. So this needs to be hotter. I need to increase the delay. Actually, I don't even need two of these. I can just do this. And then let's see how this does. Okay, so to explain this entire process, we have neutrons. When there's a lot of neutrons, they'll hit this detector more often, opening up this gate. When this happens, it turns on this delay. When this delay fires, it turns on the neutron emitter. Then a little bit later, the neutron emitter is turned back off. So it kind of guarantees that it will always introduce a few more neutrons after the close is done. Okay, why? I need to identify what happened there. That was weird, man. Okay, I'm gonna make a few changes. This is going to be changed to go here. This is gonna go here. Yes! 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 Oh my God. She's stable. The only issue is that we aren't really turning this into a beam. There's just neutrons going everywhere. Like the amount that we're allowing to escape is like huge compared to the amount that are actually going out of the beam. I guess it's a weak beam. If you think about it, it's still a beam even if it's weak. But what we'll do is we will get those neutrons that escape the reaction chamber and we will try to funnel those we'll try to funnel those as well we'll create like a secondary beam all right here we go here we go here we go here we go here we go. Boom. Okay, that that got a little bit angry. Uh, was it just by chance? Or did adding that... Oh, it causes them to bounce back. Oh, okay, I see the problem. They, we don't want them to bounce directly back in. So we need to like deflect them in a way where they, okay, so this needs to go at like a, a really slight angle here. So they bounce off back. And we're going to solve all of the problems with this design by using portal. You gotta think with portals, guys. We're going to create a portal capture here, which is going to capture the neutrons and then Instead of actually having them physically go through here, we're actually gonna close this and we'll just have the portal out here. So all of the captured neutrons are going to come from here and then they're gonna get shot out the front. Or that's the idea at least. Really? Why are none coming out? Oh, there they go! Yes! Yes! Okay, okay, it did melt down a little bit. Okay, but we can solve that. First off, we can do this to ensure that no uh, neutrons are escaping. 
should have no escape. Zero escape. Okay. All right, there are no more escaped things. It is heating up though. So what we're gonna do about that, uh, what are we gonna do about that? I mean, we can increase the amount of collection uh, going on. Like we can, we can put another thing here and another thing here for actually collecting the neutrons to allow more to escape on top of the emergency one. But that doesn't seem to be enough to calm it down. I think it, right here, it's just so close to critical. Oh, it's the pressure is super high now because this is completely closed. Okay, so what we can use is we can use a pump. We can put some pump in the middle and we're gonna set the pump to have a temperature of zero spine. And what that's gonna do is that's going to reduce, that's going to reduce the number of reactions we have by reducing the pressure. I don't want the pressure to be at zero though. Uh, let's go ahead and heat it up so that it's at one. 1.4, that's fine. Because we do, we do want, reaction occurring otherwise it's kind of a useless machine okay so now we are reacting maybe a little bit more 2.3 a little bit more i want a little bit more neutrons i know i know i'm getting greedy i know you don't you got don't gotta tell me i'm getting greedy here i'm going to Grab some clone, get rid of the old one, put a new one in, add a little bit more deuterium. I just, I want this to make a proper neutron beam, not like a weak neutron beam. I want it to be like, you would be afraid if it were pointed at your face neutron beam, right? And I know what you're thinking. Spike, I would be afraid if any neutron beam were pointed at my face. And if that's you, if you would be afraid if any neutron beam was pointed at your face, then you should go over to valor.gg. Valor.gg is an open source social media platform programmed by the person currently making this video. You can talk to me and other people on it. It respects your privacy and it, it's open source so you can help contribute to it. Consider joining Valor, thanks. And consider turning on notifications and stuff because my channel is making a slight resurgence. So if you wanna see more videos you, you should you should make sure that you're subscribed all right let's cool this down a tiny bit because perhaps 2.3 was going a little bit too far let's get it down to 1.1 now that it has additional deuterium i think this is actually reacting really well um we get the occasional leaked neutron but that's fine we'll just put a warning on it may cause cancer I mean, it's gonna be nothing compared to the beam coming out of the front. It's been charging. It's been charging for a bit now. So now let's see what happens when we discharge it. Oh, yes! Did you see that? Oh my God. That was, that was hot. Oh, is there a way to turn portals on and off? Because man, that's actually perfect. So it charges up over time. It collects the neutrons. It does its thing. And then when you want to actually fire it. Oh wow, that, that, was, that was literally beautiful. That was literally so beautiful. Wow, it is very active. Yeah, it melted down, but let's see how many neutrons it collected there. Ready? Let's see the beam. Oh, yeah! Look at that beam! Okay, okay. Tell me that this neutron beam is coming towards you and you are not slightly threatened. Look at that. 
Oh, all right. Two things I want to fix, though. A is the fact that it melts down. We're going to need a cooling system, which is going to be, I'm going to put a little box here at the bottom. Oh, shoot. I wanted to use titanium for that. I'm going to put a little cooling system on the bottom that has freeze powder. Or as the kids call it nowadays, riz powder. And then we're going to go ahead and fill that up. All right, ready? All right, so that's going to cool down the system so it does not overheat. Because there are a lot of reactions going on here. So it, it is going to heat up over time, especially when there's nothing touching it and no ambient heat for it to escape. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat a little bit further. Because we've already embraced the portals, so we might as well go all the way. We'll surround this entire thing. All right, so now it really should get every single neutron. There is no excuse for any to leak, except for out of the front, obviously. And I think it is capturing all of them. Actually, we're getting, we're getting some pretty strong beam out of the front here. I mean, for just a steady beam, that, that's pretty good. Look at it go. All right, but now let's go ahead and test. We, we have built our neutron beam technology. We just need to allow it to charge. So we're gonna charge this up and then let's say that we have a nuclear power plant we wanna fire at. And this nuclear power plant has a lot of plutonium. A lot of plutonium. It's protected. It's protected by ceramic. Well, let's see what happens if we fire a full neutron beam at it. But we're gonna give our neutron beam some time to charge, okay? Give it a little bit of time to charge. All right. All right, it's been charging. There's a lot of neutrons. All right, here it goes. We're gonna go ahead and get our portal out and we're gonna open it up. Let's see how this goes. Ooh, this is gonna be the biggest beam yet. Yeah, look at that go. All right, ton of neutrons just got fired out all at once. And now they're gonna pass through and let's see what happens. They're about to impact all of that plutonium. Is it gonna be enough? The pressure is rapidly increasing in here. It's hit 0 0.5. One, two. Okay, I think, yeah, the pressure inside of here is increasing from that. We've got a lot of neutrons and it looks like they're starting to take off on their own. 13, there it is. Nuclear, boom, baby. Although it did, it did take out our neutron beam. But we did it! Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. If you subscribe right now, one neutron beam device will be delivered to your door immediately. I can promise this because I can. I'll see you all on Valor. Peace out, fellow Vuperians.